Good afternoon. Welcome to Jim Munley's World of Weather. You clicked on to Long Range Weather Forecast Discussion for November 21st through November 5th. For November 21st to the 25th, um, we have the amplified flow here across um, the country. We have a ridge here in the west, trough here in the east, above Noma Heights here south of Greenland. Now, during this period, we will have a complex low that will be moving right here. Why does it keep jumping around when I get to it? We have a complex low right here um, that have developed near the Great Lakes and tracks eastward to the northeast states and southeast Canada. The cold front associated with the system will bring cooler temperatures and possibility of gusty winds to the east. In the warm sector, heavy rains, heavy rain will be possible with snow on the backside of the low for the interior northeast and the Great Lakes. You can see it right here. And then after we go further time, you can still see there's snow on the backside here. Now, um, going to Monday and Tuesday, there is um, some um, uh, possibility there'll be upper lows, other additional upper lows circulating around this trough here that develops in the east and could um, ca uh, cause a coastal low to develop here offshore. Now, the GFS is backed away from that. We go to Monday and Tuesday. It has some kind of system there, but it doesn't show very well. Then we look at the European. Here it has it here offshore, but it remains fairly offshore. This is the European ensemble. It shows it offshore. And then we look at the um, European deterministics. It's similar, and the GFS doesn't have it at all. But look how low the 540 line goes down, down here to the southeast. So it's going to be quite cold. And um, But it looks like um, probability of this happening is still low at this time, even getting closer to the period. And we expect to have a better handle, handle on that as we get closer to the event. Hopefully enough time um, on everything. Um, we have a sudden stream up or low off the California coast. And we'll go to the other map. And um, we get off the California coast. They expect it to combine with Pacific Energy and cause an upper trough from the northern plains to the northwest uh, to northwest Mexico by Thursday. This would be on Thanksgiving, and causing some light to moderate precipitation across the northwest and the higher elevation snows in the Rockies Monday into Wednesday. And we'll look at that at the surface Monday into Wednesday. You see, here's our snow in the higher elevations here across the Rockies. And then we'll have heavy rain threat um, next Thursday across parts of Texas, lower Hudson, uh, the lower Mississippi Valley, and the Gulf Coast as uh, moisture from the Gulf interacts with a funnel boundary. You see it right here. See, we have heavy rain here across Texas. So that's another area to be watching. Okay, um, we're going to get to the period now for. November 26th to the 30th. And the flow remains unchanged with strong positive height anomalies south of Greenland, leading to a trough in the east and a ridge in the west. So the model's a good agreement with this. You go to the end of the period, you see the various models. Here's the uh, NAEFS, more of a zona flow, but still ridge trough configuration. So for this forecast period, I'm calling for above normal temperatures here, and I'm calling for anomalies of about eight degrees above normal in some locations and below normal temperatures are forecast here. And anomalies of four, six degrees below normal are forecast and for precipitation, Below normal precipitation forecast here with um, 
probability of occurrence is um, is near 35 to 40 percent and above normal precipitation here and the probability of occurrence is 35 percent now we're going to look at the period for um, December 1st to the 5th and the question during this time is um, what are the total connections will be now overall um, we still have most of the models are forecasting below normal heights across a, a broad area below normal heights across much of the country but uh, if you look here let me look uh, bring up another map I forgot to bring it up okay let me um, go to a map Hold on, bear with me. Uh, something else I want to talk about. Um, bear with me. Okay, if you look at the uh, NAO, the um, the NAO. Uh, Uh, is oh, wait, wait a minute, I gotta back up a little bit and um, favors a negative O to be near positive and then to negative, and that will help to end the MAO to remain negative through the rest of the month. And the MJO is forecast to become neutral. Now, um, if you look at the MJO, that's the thing I want to talk about. Um, if you look at this, the latest forecast is one would think that um, racing into the positive phase in the first third of the month of December. However, if the MGO is still around neutral phase on December 1st, I doubt the, the NAO will become neutral or even positive as per the NAO, as the NAO forecast is suggesting. The only way that it would do so if the MJO moves into phase one, seven, or eight, given the uncertainty surrounding the MJO forecast, is still at this point. I have a very, uh, very low confidence that we will have a positive NAO in the first third of the month. This will keep chilly conditions coming in to the eastern half of the country. Therefore. <clears throat> excuse me the thing that we have um we have to watch over the upcoming week well the mgo where the mgo will go this will give the idea of of when we could uh potentially get a break in the negative nao pattern but all in all i'm forecasting for um for this period let me go back to the map is a broad area below normal heights so a ridge out here in the west so for this forecast period i hope i didn't confuse anybody because i had to write it down what i was saying um see i had it typed here uh, okay so for this period i'm calling for a little change in the temperature anomalies and for precipitation calling for below normal precipitation here probability of occurrence 35 to 40 percent and then we have above normal precipitation along the east coast probability of occurrence is near 40 percent that's the long range weather forecast discussion for november 21st through december 5th thanks for coming to jim Mungie's world of weather and have a good day